Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today we're gonna deal with two famous shapes in AutoCAD, the rectangles and polygons. Perhaps most of us doesn't have to be reminded about what rectangles look like, but for polygons, let me have a quick refresher about it. By definition, Polygons are two-dimensional plane figures with enclosed shapes formed by straight lines. Examples of polygons are the following figures that you can see on the screen, such as the triangle, squares, pentagon with or polygon with five sides, hexagon, and so on. In AutoCAD, all four-sided shapes, whether it is a square or rectangle, it is all in one category, which is the rectangle. Then all the other shapes other than the four-sided figures are called polygons. Also note that circles are not polygon and you can watch my separate video that deals only with circles. Today I'm going to show you how to make rectangles and polygons in AutoCAD. Open your AutoCAD and regardless of what units do you use, the procedures in creating rectangles are the same. You can click this rectangle icon as you can see here on the screen and as you do that, notice that the crosshair will change. Also, the dynamic input will become visibly activated. If not, you can press F12 or the dynamic input toggle. And in the command line, you will be prompted to specify the first corner point. For now, just pick anywhere on the screen. And after picking your first point, you will already see the rectangle on your screen and also in the again in the command line it will be asking for the other corner point for now just pick anywhere on the screen now you have a rectangle let's do this again but this time we will use the keyboard shortcut instead of clicking this rectangle icon type rec make sure that your command line is ready then type rec enter Save procedure, specify corner point, pick, then other corner point, pick. So you will notice that it is easier to use the keyboard rather than the icon. You can do this simple rectangle exercises, just what I'm doing on the screen. Turn off your F3 or OSNAP so you can freely pick your rectangles randomly. One tip for new users Whenever you will repeat the same command over and over, you don't need to click the icon or type the shortcut key again and again. Just press spacebar and the last command will be repeated. What we did is just random picking of points. But if you need a rectangle with a definite measurement, just like what we can see on the right side of the screen, you cannot possibly do it by random picking. Close your AutoCAD. Save changes? No. Start a new drawing. Type UN. Enter. And in the insertion scale, pick millimeters. Precision. Just choose zero. Okay. Then type REC. Enter. Specify first corner point. Type zero, comma, zero. Enter. Specify other corner point. Type 1000, comma, 2000. Enter. Zoom extends. Z. Enter. E. Enter. To show the whole picture so this is now your rectangle exactly what's on the image this time you will notice that we enter two values separated by a comma the 0 comma 0 and the 1000 comma 2000 these numbers are called coordinate points and the first value is the x coordinate and the second value after the comma is the y coordinate to explain this image is the rectangular coordinate system or also called Cartesian plane from Rene Descartes 
the French mathematician who formulated the system of mapping in the 17th century. The coordinate points are based on the horizontal line or the x-axis and the vertical line or the y-axis and the point where the x and y axis meet is said to be the point of origin. This coordinate is read to be 5 units away from the 0, 0 along the x-axis and 4 units away from the 0, 0 along the y-axis. So the coordinate of this point is 5, 4. Now going back to AutoCAD, the coordinate 0, 0 is the point of origin. As you can see, our first corner came exactly on the X and Y UCS icon. And when we were asked for the second corner, we entered the value 1000, 1000, which is to be 1000 millimeters away from the 0, 0 along the X axis and 2,000 millimeters away from the 0, 0 along the y-axis. So I have another example here, another rectangle with a dimension of 2,000 by 1,500. So type REC, enter, specify first corner, just pick anywhere. Specify other corner point, so the x will be 2,000 and the y will be 1,500. So the coordinates will be 2,000, 1,500. Enter. This is now your new, new rectangle, exactly what is on the image. To create a polygon, you can click this small pull-down arrow right beside the rectangle icon, and here you will find the polygon icon. It's either you can click this, or just type the shortcut, which is P-O-L. Enter. By default, enter the number of sides is 4. You can change it into whatever numbers you like. Let's say 6. Enter. Specify center of polygon. For now, let's just click somewhere here. Then there is an option called inscribe in circle and circumscribe about circle. And the default is inscribe, which is letter I. Inscribe means that the polygon will be formed inside the circle with 1000 radius that we are about to introduce. And circumscribe means that the polygon will be outside the circle with 1000 radius that we are about to introduce. So for now, just choose inscribe. It's already I, so no need to type any value or letter. Just press enter. Then, they will ask for the radius of the circle. For now, just type 1000. Enter. So this is now your polygon. If you were about to draw a circle, which is 1000 radius, this polygon will be inside it. So let's try circle or C, enter. I'm drawing the object tracking. To, to locate the center, pick. Then the radius of a circle is already 1000, so just enter. So this is your 1000 circle, and the polygon is inside the circle. Now let's try the circumscribe. P-O-L, enter, number of sides, let's say 6, enter. Specify center of the polygon, let's pick the center of this circle. And this time, let's choose Circumscribe. You can click this Circumscribe box or type letter C. Enter. Then, specify radius. Let's make it the same, which is 1000. Enter. So, this is your Circumscribe circle. It is outside the 1000 radius circle. So there you have it, how to create rectangles and polygons in AutoCAD. If you find this video useful, please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button because it helps me a lot and click the bell icon for future contents. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless.